How many hits does it take to get to the center of one of these mother- This game, Hellsplit Arena, has a kind of tier system to its weapons and enemies. And while I wouldn't say that any class of weapon is better than the other, this weapon is the crappy weapon that you start with in the campaign, and the strongest enemy in the game, aside from bosses, would be Dark Knights. And I was curious how long it would take to beat one of the Dark Knights with, uh, I don't know, one of the worst weapons in the game. Uh, I'm sorry if the camera angle is gonna be really shaky and just violently unwatchable at, at certain points because I am gonna have to be violently ferocious to get anywhere close to finishing this challenge. Uh. Oh man, my head's, headset's probably gonna slip off my head at some point. Ooh. Damn it, need to pay attention. Get away from the bomb, I'm not gonna cheat. Whoa, almost killed yourself. I really don't know <laughs> if this can be done. There are challenges online where people claim to have beaten the game with just the starting weapon, which would be this thing. I doubt it. I question that shit. I need to see footage. All right, get away from the bomb. <laughs> Explosive barrel. It's not a bomb, I guess. Yeah, that's right. Get on the ground. I need some free hits. I'm gonna be so dead by the end of this. If I make it to the end of this, well, it'll be the end of you or the end of me. Depending how long this takes, one of those will seem way more obvious an outcome than the other. Oh, nice try. Got this dude on the ropes, man. Yeah, that's right, back up, sucker. Ain't got shit on me. Except for when you swing over my head, which admittedly, my short ass does not worry about my head hitting things very often. Ah, I was gonna catch a break, but and you got your little break on the ground. I would go for the head, but I don't want that to blow up. Huh. Hold up. Wait. I'm gonna clear the bombs out. Hey, hold on. All right, come here. I'm gonna back you up against this explosive free wall. Catch a break for a second too. Woo. Need to breathe, man, need to breathe. And go. <clears throat> It's a little dark in this area, though. Come on. Ooh. Holy shit. <laughs> now, I guess keeping him against that wall didn't work at all. How many hits does it take to get to the center of one of these motherfuckers? <laughs> nope, away from the bomb, dude. Regular hits with a crappy weapon. Nice dodge. <sighs> you don't have much else going for you other than thick armor, you fucking turd. Yeah, that's right, get on the floor again, you worthless. <laughs> Yeah, I see no reason why you should be wearing that thick armor and be considered a tough enemy other than the fact that you're wearing the armor already. Got no skill. Give it to one of those skeletons. They're so squirrely they roll around. They're hard to hit. 
This is just sad. Did you fucking die? <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Bonk. Holy shit. Oh, I truly didn't think it could be done. Hey, maybe a sword, which is what I used the first time I attempted this, was a bad choice. But all right, holy shit. <sighs> Guess I'll leave it at that. If you enjoy this video and you want to see more physics-based VR combat or other combat challenges in VR, then feel free to subscribe. And if you have another VR challenge, and if you do have a VR challenge for me, feel free to leave it in the comments. Till next time, Ugh, Tanner out. I ain't going through that again. <laughs>